Peep County School District plans to put cameras in every middle school classroom next year. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez shows us how the new technology works and how it's benefiting student behavior. It took some time for sixth grade teacher Danisha Gordon to get used to her new accessory. When it first came in, it was very hard to remember to put it on, to um, charge it when, before you leave. I even got to the point, I'm like, I don't even need this mic, you can hear me. But the new teaching tool is now a staple in her daily routine. It's called an um, audio enhancement. And um, what ends up happening is there are speakers in our room, so it uh, enables them to be able to hear what we're saying better. Yeah. She's talking to you all the way in the back row over there. Some students can't hear if you have a lot of students talking or if you're trying to get everyone quiet. But when they just start hearing you through the speakers, it's like, oh, okay, I, I hear everything she's saying. Gordon also has a camera in her classroom. She can record whenever she wants. I like to go back and evaluate how I did or what I could have done to make it better. And with you being able to go back and see how you move, who you interact with the most, who you don't interact with, and you also get to see things you wouldn't pick up. Those lessons can be put online for students to reference after school. The cameras also remind students to follow the rules. We actually have seen um, improvement with student behavior. The school district is constantly recording classroom activity in case a teacher misses a recording. I would have to um, submit a request to the district office and they would from there send um, a copy of the video footage for me. Gordon and the school's principal give the new audio visual system an A and are excited to find other ways to use the new technology. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. The system costs $4,500 per classroom. The money is coming from the new education penny sales tax.